Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of my SimCity 4 Let's Play of Solitude. It looks like my entire region is being engulfed by thick fog now, and anyway, I'll just load up my city and hope for the best. So yeah, it's been a very long time since I made the last episode, and I'm sorry about that, just several different things uh, came up about the game, about my computer, and other reasons. So, you may notice the resolution is, or the aspect ratio of the screen is different than normal, and I had wanted to avoid that, but having problems with my other computer being slow now, and for a long time I couldn't even play my games, so I said enough is enough, and it's time I made another episode, even if it's not consistent with the screen shape or whatever, but better than no episode at all, I suppose. Um, so, lately I have been working on this area. Recently built this highway interchange, of course. And it looks pretty good, I'd say. Got nice cosmetic pieces and everything for acceleration and deceleration lanes. So, what is missing, though, is um highway signs as on this interchange as well, it looks like, so I've lately been going through a lot of my cities and putting in signs over the highways, like there should re realistically be, of course. So, I'll take care of that for here, as soon as I get to the bottom of this menu, which will take a while, but I'll get there very soon. I like these, um, these are from an older set I don't usually generally use in my cities. They have electronic speed limit signs for when there's a traffic jam up ahead or whatever, heavy traffic, and lowers the speed limit for that, so I use those in some of my m main urban freeways in my bigger city. And, okay, I'm looking for, let's see, RHW6C. And we want... Well, be 8C, I suppose. Do they have that, I wonder? Yes, they do. One lane exit, place it close to the exit. See? So this is what I'd want to have right here, I think. Yep. There's the... And these are the, um, the Ontario sign set from... It's, an, it's on Centropolis, if you'd like to download that. Just search for yeah, Ontario signage, you see. So... At 8C, and this announces it. So we're going to use this sign further away. I put it probably as far away. I never, I used to count out how many tiles it was, but that's too much to do. I just approximate it, guess how far it should be. This seems reasonable. Here's your sign telling you the exit is going to come up on the right side, and there's the actual sign at the split off of the ramp. And in this case, I want to use 6C signs and not 8C for RHW, because it doesn't uh, split off a new lane. So I guess it'll be this one. Destinations, place it close to the exit. This isn't correct. GTR, that's the other set I have, but must have not changed the n description. Let's see, I'd want either this or that. This looks like the one you place further away. It doesn't look like it has the right description, so. Uh, no, this would be further away, because that's not what you're going to put right by the ramp. So, hmm. Yeah, I guess this is the one to put near here. So put that right there. And further down, this one. It's just kind of strange because it doesn't look the same. It doesn't have an arrow f facing outward like this other one has. So, I'm not sure. 
sure, but we'll see. Probably should put it right about here. Here, maybe. And I just have to demolish these noise walls, but it's alright because I can uh, rebuild them afterwards. You just have to use the overhanging lot versions. So, let's see if I still have those available in my menu. They're not hidden right now. No, I have to use the menu management lot like again. Uh, put that somewhere out here for now. But anyway, I'll, I'll just fast forward by a month or so. That's what you've got to do to make it show up. this overhang one. See this t tile is technically occupied by the sign bridge lot, so yeah. And to put a two tile, so it's a little noticeable. You can see there's no grass bushes and whatnot and trees, but it's not the worst thing. I mean I could just put another tree or two right there myself if I want, so oh, this maple tree or something there. There, now it's more consistent, can't tell as much. Okay, and I've got one more interchange to take care of down the highway a ways. So I want to take the same exit sign, and about right there. I guess that's not consistent with what I did over here, but what happened over here was it showed this ugly sidewalk block area, so it shouldn't really look like that, so I try to avoid that. Alright. One more of these. It looks like the f closest or farthest away I can put it is right here, because of this light rail line getting close to the highway and taking up that space. It is a little close, so actually I could probably move it right back there. Um, so, let me put one of these down again. Hey, there goes the train. How much traffic there actually is here? Oh, 208. Eh, not very great, but I guess it's a suburban area and you wouldn't expect much ridership, I guess. So that's probably a more reasonable different, different distance for the sign, actually. And in the other direction, let's see, put a 6S, I guess, because it changes, it transitions from 6S to 6C around here. I'd want 8C for the actual exit sign. So, to announce it, we'll put success. Not one of these, but rather one of these further away from the exit. How far should that be? As far as this one? I'd put it right near the edge of the city, right about here I'd say. Alright. Okay, so looks good. And what else? And that takes care of all those signs I need. Don't need for any, any for the entrance ramps, of course. Yeah. I'll just take care of saving it for now. All right. So, what to do now? 
some new development around here maybe, I, or I can just extend this highway some more. Kind of give it, uh, I'll extend the route to the end of the city tile maybe. I don't know if I want to give it a curve anywhere along there or what. I'm going to go look at the region again. Give some perspective. Eh? Generally a good idea. So, let's see. Well, if you look at the transportation map. This is Highway T6. And this is also Highway T6, I believe. This is T5. So yeah, I have a pretty simple naming scheme, of course. Just start at T1 and T for Triforth, the region name. And it's got T1, T2, T3. I forget which one this is. It might be T4. This is probably T4 because I've got T5 and T6, which so loops around, of course. So I wanna, if I want to de designate it something, it would be a good idea to give it, like, T5 or T6S and T6N for south and north half of the highway because it's this unusual loop route. And it has the same number for both parts of the loop. So, alright. Anyway, it looks like I'd want to extend it straight to the end of the city tile here. If anything, I could curve it maybe around here or not. Doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Okay. Looks like the fog is cleared from my region. So I'll go ahead and take care of that. Extend this freeway. in the university, parking garage for the university here. This railway station has a bit of parking, and other than that there's residential areas and university itself campus. And yeah, I'll just, well I thought, let's see, what should I put in this area, I wonder. I can put residential development, there's some over here, but it's close to an airstrip of course for the fire Department. So, I think it's be, it'd be more of a problem to have houses and something tall here, of course. Compared to over here, it wouldn't be so. It wouldn't be in the flight path, I guess. It wouldn't be bad, bad noise or anything just from fire department, not commercial jets or anything taking off all the time. So, I'll make this a residential area. Let's put another street in here, maybe. That's good uh, six tile distance for some what good sized lots ideal yeah and you can see um, the residential lots look a bit more diverse with different wealth levels and everything some have more dirt and dead or less watered grass I suppose and that's from a mod that I had downloaded uh, it's called Radical Maxis Relots, I think. Which is to just give different, more realistic lots to all the Maxis buildings. It doesn't have, cover all of them yet, but it's pretty good, I think, so far. I mean, 
I not recommend it's not a recommended to apply that mod like I did with an existing city you're supposed to start new cities or a new region but I went ahead and did it because it's a similar concept to the uh, industrial revolution mod I mean some sizes of lots will change and they'll screw some things up but you can uh, just demolish them and have it return to normal so it's not so bad uh, but anyway I'm so it's not like I'm going to start a new region here. This is my huge, continuous region. So I don't plan on making a new one or playing a different region anytime soon. So, yeah. They kind of just give some different look to the residential areas for single family homes, but for like apartment towers, you have more accessible parking, which I thought. Uh, at first, it would be like giving a better entrance to the underground garage or something, which I've tried doing before in the law editor, just don't have time for it. But they, they kind of put um, bigger parking lots around some of these high-rise buildings, and I'm like, I'm not sure that's the best thing to have. I mean, if you're going for a real urban area, I personally would prefer to reduce the parking lots. But, anyway, I mean, the problem with those high-rises is some of them have uh, underground garage interest at entrances and they're clearly blocked by the back of the lot or something that game developers didn't bother paying attention to, so that's what it's supposed to alleviate with the mod. Okay, so let's see if I've got water here. Okay, i got plenty of water. Two have out here. I'll give it another pipe. check in a moment how much I've got citywide for water. Oh, perfect. Alright. Oh, nowhere near running out of water, geez. <laughs> I've got a huge amount left over, in fact. Must have a large water pump somewhere because it's 200,000 cubic uh, meters, I think. Or cubic meters. I know, liters whatever they measure it in here. But I could probably sell some to some neighbor of mine, but I'm pretty financially stable right now. I'll just let it get more used up as time goes on and development continues. So, what about this area? I don't want to put trees here, right in the, you know, the airstrip vicinity. And I don't want to put any more buildings like this, of course. So, I'll just put some sort of a field, you know, I put a soccer field, but I don't want to put that there, so. I just don't like, I don't know, I have something against this default texture. It's not covered up, you know, it's not developed, it's not finished or whatever. Well, maybe I could leave it as the default texture and just have it be open space, though. I mean, there's no real reason to have a different color grass or whatever. I could put these made this lot. So this almost matches the te texture of grass in this airstrip lot, but not completely. I don't know. If only it was a better match to this color, but I'll try filling it in for now. It doesn't really matter to me either way, I suppose. It looks alright. I mean, you can barely tell. It's not the right texture. I could actually afford to have some trees. Just a couple. Um, and this side not aligned with the airstrip, you know. It looks a little maybe, maybe a little weird, though. With the green color of them. I don't know. Probably put too many of those. It's not to have trees near a landing strip, I guess. Even if they're not right in the way of it. One, two of them. There. That's enough. Alright. Could turn it into another parking lot if I wanted that. I mean, cars aren't overly tall. I, I don't know. 
And we've got a large parking lot for this university, but oftentimes these are um, they're overpopulated, they're overused for university parking lots, perhaps. So, hmm. I could just leave it for now as undeveloped and just make it something later as a parking lot if I want. I'll worry about that some other time. This is part of the mod as well that I'm using for residential, uh, the relots, which kind of bothers me a bit, honestly. I mean, you put low wealth or low density zones, I don't really expect to have something that's like five stories tall, you know, appear in that zone. And there have been other ones I've downloaded lots or buildings that are row, brick row houses and stuff that are appearing in low density zones and I don't really think that's appropriate for this kind of zone. I mean it's got a parking lot, it's got multiple stories of apartments, so I don't, I don't, I'm still debating whether or not to keep the mod. I mean it has some good effects though. And it did involve a lot of demolition of part of my cities, so to get it working properly. But it's not the end of the world, you know, I can have a couple apartments in a low density area. Makes sense, kinda. Okay. These are all historical, looks like, so they don't get redeveloped. And for here, um, what shall I do? I could make it another apartment complex, like these you see here. I think I'll do that because you have two on this side and I can have two on that side of the soccer field, football, whatever. That does cause a problem though. Kind of like what you see here, you have to put a diagonal filler. Or would want to, I would want to to make it look better. I can't put one here because it's occupied. And I'll just put one and leave the rest of the space. There. Yeah, this is not too great looking. But maybe this will look a, better, a bit better when it's developed. I'm going to demolish that baseball field. Turn it around, maybe. That would look better. Just didn't look the way the way the sidewalk diagonal line looked it turned into grass. It just looked weird. Yeah. Where would that be here? Yeah, that's better. I'd say. Keep it like that. Makes sense too. You can access the field better. It's facing towards the street. I guess that does make sense. So. <laughs> some tree lots. Okay. Get rid of them actually and just put two by two. I could put some development, I'll just keep it as trees though. So we've got a nice uh rural sort of feature, suburban um, power lines behind all the buildings, which don't need to be there if there are zones. Technically, the game will take care of it, of course, but I'm going to leave them there. It's just, just a sort of you know, something you might see in real life. So, yeah, I'll keep those. The problem is I won't be able to put more tree lots that have base textures like these you see. So I'll try to end that right at this right here in that area. I can put trees that aren't on lots. Like that. Like I'm doing right now. That working out pretty well. Okay. to save the game again.
how is it looking on the other side of the suburb? Where I put those highway signs? Hmm, pretty much the same as before. A little more abandonment, unfortunately. Jeez, not too great. Commute times, that means... That doesn't mean it's abandoned due to commute time, actually. It means unemployment, they couldn't find a job, probably. It usually seems to happen. This is dilapidated. Unfortunately, this is abandoned. Oh. I thought I had taken care of this before, but yeah, these are missing a like, road connection. They don't have any yeah, access to their lot, so that's going to work. I know what I was thinking there. Why don't we just abandon this street frontage here? Not a really economical thing to do, really, but... I'll just leave it as trees and keep this parking lot here for the Burlington Coat Factory. Let's see, but uh, yeah, leave it undeveloped for now because I can't put buildings there really. the right way towards the street corner and see so yeah, I had to zone it facing that road there. that's what I wanted it to look like so that's good and a nice uh, other tall building here make that historical as well and this some historical buildings but I wanted them to stay there to not be replaced by something doesn't fit in as well. This would be better suited maybe to the end of the corner here, the street. So, this is kind of awkward at the moment. I've got a small, single family sort of mansion and buildings all around it that are taller and this is the closest to the street corner, that doesn't make sense. It'll be developed, redeveloped sometime. However, so let's see, what is my demand anyway for high wealth and things below zero? Fortunately for high wealth residential, low wealth is really high. Commercial services always seem to be high, offices very bad, which seems to be hitting my regional economy pretty bad. Actually, as of late, my main city is getting a lot of abandoned commercial office skyscrapers because demand has fallen so much. I don't know why that is. But, yeah. Let's check on civic services, though. Crime is covered fine. Fire department. Okay, coverage is good. Education. Oh, it's a confusing one because you've got same color circles for elementary schools and high schools and colleges, I guess, if they have a radius. This is underfunded. I'll just increase it all the way because there'll be more development soon. <sighs> so, yes, yeah, so you've got to kind of look at the what's in the center, and that's an elementary school, and this is the radius of the elementary school. And this is the high school and its radius. So I would need a new high school somewhere around here, eventually. I'm not going to worry about it right now, though. Health, fortunately, there's only one type of hospital to cover your city. And it's a bit overcrowded, but barely. Let's see. Yes, I am anticipating to have more development within the radius here, so that's kind of kind of overcrowded some more in the future, so I will want on another hospital, probably maybe somewhere around here at some point. I could go ahead and do it. It's already full, so yeah. And this is something new. Let's see, this is part of the Radical Maxis Relots mod, I believe. This hospital can have a different sort of lot. That's interesting. 
Looks like they use bamboo for one of the walls. It's never seen anything like that before. Must be some building they've used as a prop. But, um, yeah. And it's always good, you know, to have it right by your school. Schools and hospitals close together in this game because of the radius of coverage. Even though it seems to be a little monotonous at times. So I mean, you always got the school and hospital and police, fire all clustered together a lot of the time, it seems like. And you have it in multiple areas in your city. This is the same capacity, and it's also different than this one, of course, so I'll keep it right there. Continue to use this hospital. Okay, I'm gonna put some more land around my fire department airstrip. Um, I mean designated kind of as undevelopable land. Just putting these grass lots. I'll put another strip just to be safe. Beyond that, I guess it's okay helped, um, to put some more homes around that area, beyond that area, so. Can't put an intersection here, though. Nope. Put one right there. Should be fine. And I'll go ahead and connect this existing street kind of loops around a long ways. Curve right about there. Give it a couple of smooth curves and, and zone for development now. around her, I suppose, but some way to access the other baseball diamond, because they'd kind of have to wander through the forest to get to the entrance right here. So 
So I'll put a park green right there. Oops. Looks good. Okay. see like trees below the power lines though. They just clear that area because if it, uh, something makes it fall off, probably would start a fire or something I suppose. Uh, whatever, it's a game. I mean, <laughs> it looks nice. It looks better with trees, so I'll just keep it this way. Just thought about that. <laughs> um, another apartment complex. This is the low wealth one, so I'll keep that just like I did with these. so much diversity you can get with these pre-made lots, even though there's a few different configurations. I've got them all here, so I don't want to keep having the low wealth ones appear. So I'll probably use medium or high wealth residential ones, apartments. And that would be a better variety of buildings. in the rest of the area. So, trees behind this kiosk here. And those should develop pretty soon. This hasn't developed yet either, unfortunately, so that is strange, but Maybe I'm moving the camera too much. You know, if you move the camera, it pauses time in this game, so... Let's see, it's March 13th, or whatever. It only continues once you leave it still, so you, sometimes you gotta, like, slow down and... let things develop if you want that. Oh, I'll just extend a few roads trying to move the camera. Still no development here. Oh well. Maybe this is not so great that I put the highway ramps to connect to this road. Because I've got an avenue here. But whatever. It's already done that. It'd be nice if I could take a diagonal intersection somehow, but I can't. What I could do is make a roundabout. See what that looks like. Oh, that's not what you're supposed to do. See, I just I never liked these roundabouts, these regular ones. Well, I don't know, they just seem a little bit like the sharp curve ones. As compared to these new ones they added recently, I mean... Um, like these, they have the lines marked, you know, the only each lane goes a certain direction, and... Uh, I mean, it, these, are, these aren't, like, unrealistic or anything, they just don't mark any 
fancy like, transitions or curves or anything with the lanes. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. But I'm still not sure if I want that to be around about here. I just want this intersection and then it curves diagonally. So let's see, I could just give this a regular old curve. I'm not normally too keen on using uh, the sharp curves or the draggable, the standard curves. But that's alright, I suppose. I don't need to always have it a smooth one. Give it a a little more variety, I guess, and I'll be able to put uh, turning lens in here, too. As long as I don't extend this to make it a four-way intersection, I'll be good with that. So, I guess I'll just end there. And as a T-intersection, put turn lanes here. Got four tiles. Um, four here as well. T intersection piece. There, it looks great. All right, and I've got some turn lanes at this intersection, around about here, and. No turn lanes here. Most I'd have, be able to have one tile of continuous left turn lane because of these curves in this intersection here, kind of making it smaller. So I'm not sure if I want to do that here. No, might as well give it turn lines. I guess there's no reason why I shouldn't. It's a suburban area. I'm not trying to conserve, you know, like, um, not trying to keep the street from being overly wide or anything like that here. This is going to be a short one as well. Maybe that's why I didn't take care of that. Huh. Turn lane with this um, terminating road here. I have to have a short one because of this intersection, this driveway. It's not too short though. Alright. What I could do is put a slip lane right here, but that's going to disrupt the base texture is even worse and would not look very good, so that is always a problem with those slip lanes, unfortunately. That have come with the network add-on mod. So, give this to this avenue. I think I'll just, I'll keep this a bit shorter, actually. Keep it the same as on the other side here. Be one tile of turn lane. That's not really bad, I suppose. But it's better than nothing, you know. So, put some here. Oops, wrong direction. And I'm still going for my usual, uh, three tiles of turning lanes in general. But I'll keep the shorter ones on this road. Alright. 
few more tiles here. And this will have longer turn lines, of course, you can see. No reason in particular, I suppose. I mean, this road is, I'll end it at this avenue, it's not as important of a road, but I'm just trying to keep it consistent with the shorter turn lines here and that sort of thing, because this is a kind of a longer route, actually. So it's a more important sort of roadway, you know. So, yeah. And to the avenue. Give it two tiles. And I won't continue that road. So it'll be a T intersection. Here, this can continue, so I'll, I'll just start that right now. And give it the turn lane. intersections, more or less. I'd almost make it a um, two-lane avenue or a road with a median. No reason in particular, but, you know, just for the heck of it. I mean, there's not usually a reason in SimCity to make a road have a median. I mean, sometimes I like to fill in the area between two, you know, intersections with turn lanes and give it... meeting once development occurs here. So this kind of keeps the width of the road constant between the two turn lane intersections. That's all. Kind of a nice little hospital and school area, I'll give it that. So, yeah. And if, of course you can see there's still nothing developing here, but this is getting some development. This was actually newer than that area, so it's odd, but whatever. Man seems about the same. What do we got low wealth, probably. Yep. Yeah. Not gonna make them historical. Let, let these be replaced later on. All right. So. Yeah. All right. I've got. Uh, See, how about this area finished, filled in now. 
some new streets laid out, and some new sign signs on the, on the highway. But I think this is enough for one episode, and I'll leave it at that. So, see you next time, and thanks for watching.